All right, yo. Hello and welcome, everybody. Is it? yes, it's working. Hello and welcome, buddy. What is going on? So we're here today to do Kingdom Volume Eighteen. Um, more specifically, Kingdom Chapter One Hundred and Eighty Five to One Hundred and Ninety. Now, before you start, before we start, you might be wondering, like, why am I not streaming this? Usually, I stream a full volume, and it's been it's been such a long time now. Uh, I think it's been like three weeks since like my last Kingdom live reaction, my last volume. Uh, but the thing, the reason for that really is it's just too hot. Uh, that's the best way to put it. It's just very, very hot at the moment. So that's why we're only doing five chapters and that's why I've not been streaming lately. Because it is so hot that I would need to have the fan on to do you know, an hour plus long video. And it is just not, you know, I just can't have the fun on because then otherwise you won't be able to hear me, you know, then it wouldn't really be much of a reaction. So, uh, this, this is why this is being recorded. Um, this is why I'm recording this and then uploading it on YouTube. And I think at least for the summer, there won't be that many streams. There'll just be a lot more just reactions. Now, that will also mean that there should be a lot more reactions because obviously I'm recording, I'm not streaming, you know, I don't need to make time to stream you know three hours or whatever I can just you know record a few chapters here and there and then upload it here and there so yeah I think if, at least for the summer that's gonna work out pretty nicely and again that shouldn't mean that there should be more chap or more uploads I should say perhaps equal amount of chapters but anyway let's get started because I'm I, it's already starting to get very very warm here <laughs> we've only just started for what two minutes and already I can feel it Coming in the air tonight. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, Kingdom Volume Eighteen. Let's see what it has in store for us today. All right, yo, the Queen of the Pleasure Quarters. So, ah, we have all these different units. Where do we even begin? Where do we even begin? Let's begin from the right. So we go. We, we start with the Shin Army. Well, should we start from the right? Yeah, I think starting from the right is probably the best solution here. So this is uh, the Shin Army. This is the Shin Army, as you can see here and here. Uh, so we've got the Shin Army Special 300 Mana Units. This, this is quite new, but I like it. So you know, usually you always have like the character, like you always have like this page here, but now you're gonna have like a two, just the whole army in one spread, which is quite, and the Zhao Army at the bottom left here too. So that's quite interesting. Uh, so yeah, you've got the Shin Army. I'm, I'm, not, I'm recording. Perfect. The Shin Army Special 300 Mana Units. So you've obviously got the He Shin, the He Shin Unit. Which is obviously led by Shin, a war orphan rising through the ranks by accumulating achievements, aiming to become a great general of the heavens, captain of the He Shin unit, which does not belong to any specific army, has been expanded to 300 men thanks to the effort in the Zhao War, inherited General Oki's glaive. And that's the man in charge. Little boy who looks a little older now than he did at the beginning of the series. Maybe it's just because of torn clothes and whatnot, but <laughs> he does look older. Uh, then you've got obviously Kyukai, Shin's comrade, a descendant of the legendary assassination group Shu, currently serving as a He Shin unit lieutenant. You've got the Eisei faction, which obviously led, as the name suggests, by Eisei, the king. The young king of Shin reclaimed this throne from the clutches of his younger half-brother Seikyu, but it is Chancellor Ryufu who holds true power in the Shin court, aiming to snatch back his authority and unify all of China. Obviously, Shobunkun, loyal vassal of Eisei, ex-military, Kaioten, mountain tribe descendant and Shin's ex-roommate currently enrolled in a strategist academy, Hekibro, he is a thousand man commander, serves as Shobunkun's lieutenant, and Shin is a 300 men. So, he, 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 for, for 100 men, he's moving up though. Now, now he's a 300 man. Obviously, Heki, he's coming for you, bro. You know, you've got Hyao, Shin's best. Uh, even now, even at this point in the story, they're still showing Hyao. Obviously, grayed out because he is rip. <laughs> he's dead. Uh, Shin's best friend was chosen to be Seiza body double but lost his life. You've got the Shin generals. Oki, known as the monster, <laughs> monster Spirit, one of Shin's six great generals, was appointed commander-in-chief of the Zhao battle in which he fell. 
Mogo, an old general who's the symbol of Shin's military, led a mighty army to attack the state of Han in the past. Obviously, he is the father. Uh, um, he is the one that they mentioned. Um, that he's the one they mentioned that everything, if everything is going well, uh, or if his or if, you know, his army has more numbers. And he will always reign supreme. He isn't anything special, but he knows how to win having better odds. And he knows how to retreat or how to back out once the odds are not in his favor. So he's not someone who's going to rely on tactics, rely on just brute force you know, or anything like that. He just relies on superior number, which is another interesting way of you know, dealing with things. Uh, so that's obviously the father of, I'm guessing we're gonna, Mobu, we're seeing it here. Uh, the grandfather of Mo Ki and also Mo Ten. So many Mo's. <laughs> the whole family just. You know, the whole family. You can just see the whole family on this spreadsheet. So you've done well, old man. You've done well. Your whole family is doing really well right now. So, my mouse is acting up, of course. Then you've got Duke Xiao, a general who's appointed commander in chief of Shin's first campaign. The Way War, and he is just a ruthless, basically. <laughs> that's, that's what you can tell by the teeth. But he is just ruthless. I like the fact that he's called Duke Hyao. And obviously you've got Hyao too. Uh, then you've got the Gyokoho unit. Uh, which is captain of the special food unit man. Gyokoho unit belongs to the same family as Oki. But unlike Oki is of the main family. He's like, yeah, Oki is just yeah, he's just a side branch. The guy is a peasant and whatnot. He was pretty good though. Then you've got the Gaku Gakuga unit. Captain of the special 300 man Gakuka unit, grandson of the general Mogo, and son of the general Mobu. Then you've got the Rio faction with Ryufu, Shoei-kun, Mobu, and Moki. Ryufu, Ch uh, Shin Chancellor, who's acting as he pleases, says political rival, was once a merchant who traded between Jiao and Han. Shoei-kun, a genius strategist and one of the four pillars of Rio. Mobu, a fierce general and one of the four pillars of Ryu, served as a vice general in the Xiao Wa and a strategist in training and student of Shoikun, son of Mobu. So you've got one of the four pillars here, one of the four pillars here, one of the four pillars here, and one of the four pillars here with Rishi, Shin official, and one of the four pillars of Ryu. We've not really seen much of Rishi, to be totally honest. We've seen Shoikun, obviously, considering that he, uh, Moki and Kaioten. Uh, with Shoei Kun. We've seen Mobu obviously quite clearly, you know, who was drinking and whatnot and in the war. We've seen the old man here and there, just diplomacy, serves in diplomacy, but he is just a Shin official in one of the four. Like, like, he gets no mention at all. Like, he is just the one that we don't know much about, to be totally honest. Then you've got the Royal Harem faction. Sei's mother used to be a political hostage together with Sei in the state of Xiao. The Queen Mother, so that's just that's what they're gonna, that's what we're gonna call it. All right, and we've got this Zhao army who obviously, you know, uh, who obviously allied themselves, allied, 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 all allied themselves with uh, the Shin faction. You've got Hoken. I love that name, Hoken. Just like Hoken. It sounds like Hadouken. <laughs> Is that just what comes to my mind? I don't know. A member of the Zhao's esteemed Three Great Heavens was appointed commander-in-chief during the battle with Shin, had a past with Oki. Together with Hoken, another member of the Three Great Heavens, Prime Minister of Zhao and a skill strategist, and we've got Riboku's follower, helped out Kaioten when he was captured during the war with Shin. So Hoken, Riboku, and Kane. I think we haven't missed anyone. <laughs> I think we've gone through all. The only names I'm not really sure about will be those two. Uh, Moten. And we don't get to see his name, but he, he we know that he is part of the Oki family. Mo Ten, I know he's I know his name starts with a Mo, but that's really it. And Ten, Ten, I guess I, I gotta think of it like that. But yeah, chapter 185. Let's get started. All right, mother and son. Up until the eight, I'll probably put like music in, uh, just in case you're wondering. I'll probably put like music in post processing or something. Uh, we'll see ultimately. But up until the age of nine, His Majesty spent the entirety of his life together with the Queen Mother in the city of Kantan, the capital of Zhao. At the same time, the Zhao saw His Majesty as a prince of the hated Shin due to the incident at Shohei. 
And as you all know, his majesty was victim to abuse and humiliation on a daily basis. Yeah. Queen mother as well. No, as the woman who gave birth to an enemy lance prince, she was subject to even harsher treatment. Interesting. That looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty cool. The, like, the look at her face looks very, very stern. Very, 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 very stern. With her husband, King Shoujo, having already fled back to Shin, and with not King, you know, at that point was still prince, right? With her husband, King Sojo, having already fled back to Shin, with not a single friendly face to turn to, she began to well up with hatred for every single person around her. Every single one of them. That's Does that include her son? That's right. Even her own son. I see why this is going now. <laughs> I see why this is going now. That's why they are so fearful of her and whatnot. Okay, my, my stupid mouth. Stop. Seriously. <laughs> Say. I hate this mouse. Die. How can that be? For a mother to actually desire. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Hecky. Some people are thrown into a world where they don't experience love or, you know. But they don't experience happiness and then they become like that. And when the two of them completely alone inside enemy territory, they should have been the only source of comfort for each other. That is just far too. Such a child that I am amazed his majesty turned out as he did. There was a woman who risked her life to rescue his majesty from the darkness. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. If it were not for her, his majesty could very possibly have remained like a cripple to this day. Yep. Yeah. Callback. A very nice call, and here we are. Here we go. Here we go. Look, look, look who's looking like the superior person here. And even now, a great shadow remains cast between the relationship of those two. Where those two to actually meet face to face. Frankly, even I have no idea what direction the discussion will take. Well, we will see. To me, she right now seems more of a royalty than him. I mean, that's probably just because she's sitting there and he's just walking in, but like with the sun coming and everything. And them just like bowing, just looks. Uh, that, that looks very magnificent. It looks very beautiful. Foo foo foo, what's the matter, say? It's been such a long time since we lost Soyja, or won't you come closer? Or could it be that you find your mother frightening? Not at all, so he's just going to come closer. Closer, closer. That's my sister. Yeah, he. he, he is she sitting on a. On a is that a t tiger? It looks like what, but yeah, uh, he, he he's not. He has no like you know psychological damage here. He just goes up to her like no issues at all. You've become quite a fine ma fine man in a small span of time since we last met, haven't you? Say the same for you, mother. Your beauty has yet to fade. But it is quite a surprise for you to actually come pay me a visit. It's going just as you predicted, isn't it, Choco? You're too kind, your highness. Shoko. So that's Shoko. Okay. Shoko looks like any of the other people that had around it, to be totally honest. But at least we got a name for Shoko now. And what do you want, say? Please start with the innocent act. I would like you to hand over the copy of the royal seal. For a prank, it is going too far. Were this matter to be exposed, there would be an uproar over you being tried for the crime of betraying our state. That doesn't sound quite severe. That does sound quite severe, but don't you think it's funny for those words to come up between us two? Considering the lifestyle we are together in Zhao. And he did not like that. He did not like that. <laughs> Back when you and I still lived in Kantan. The level of abuse we suffered at their hands uh, staggers the imagination. Not to mention how we had not a single source of money. Forced to sully ourselves just to be able to eat. Yes, quite literally sullied. Be able to sink lower. So be able to sink no lower must refer to that, wouldn't you say? But look at us now. You're both at the highest point it could be, exactly. You are the almighty king of the great state of Shin, and I its queen mother. On paper, the two highest positions in their kingdom. There is not a single person who stands above the two of us. That's actually very true. What a prank the fates have played on us. That's, that goes out to all of you. If you ever feel down, if you ever feel like you're in the mud, there's always a path up for you. Keep that in mind. 
I sound like such a, I sound like I'm trying to inspire you right now, but I'm not really happy to do that. That's, it's a fact, all right? There's always up, yeah? When you're, when, you're, when you're at the bottom, all you can do is move forward or, go, or stand up. What a prank the fates have played on us. I remember a certain scholar who claimed that a man's life was dictated by the heavens. If that really is true, then it makes me want to piss all over the heavens. Yeah, just, she is triggered. Just like straight away, she is triggered. And don't you feel the same, say? You want to know it, Shoko. The reason why us, mother and son, have avoided each other is because we do not wish to be reminded of those hellish days. Right, say? Please hand over the forged seal, mother. Huh? Well, whatever. And alright, that seal thing. Who cares? <laughs> who cares about that little toy? If you want it, go ahead and get it from the Unix on the way back. Alright, is that is that it? Why would you suddenly do something like this? Nothing really. I just felt like seeing your face again after such a long time. All right, that, that's that's pretty nice. I don't know what a, I don't know what a game is, but right now, just on the face value, it looks like she's actually she actually cares about her son. Uh, again, that's on the face value. I don't know why she's actually scheming and whatnot. Well, this is a surprise. Are you leaving already? I was certain that you had come because you wish. Because you wish us to request something of me. No, I changed my mind since it doesn't seem like you would be very receptive. Oh dear, that's a bit too much when you haven't even asked, don't you think? Is it because you can't lower your head to such a terrible mother? Let's hear it. It's been eight years since we've moved from Zhao to Jin. To Jin. <laughs> Shin. Perhaps something inside me has changed in that time. Alright. Is he actually... Uh, wow. He's actually bowing his head. The king, the king bowing his head to, ah, uh, to his mother. But uh, even then, that, that's still something. Despite being the king of the state, power and authority lies with Chancellor Ryufu due to my in own incompetence. Even now, we are contesting his faction. Yet we are always struggling. Please lend me the assistance of your harem faction, mother. And there you go, bowing his head. Now she's gonna probably just say no. I understand you may leave. Just like that. Like, you don't even say yes, he doesn't even say no. I shall send you a reply in a few days' time. Look for alright. In a few days' time, one of that replies are negative. A few well, a few days later, there you go. Just a few days later, there you go. <laughs> We're just skipping a few days. Just as the Queen Mother said, a messenger arrived at one of Say's estates. So that's probably Chokei, I think that's the name, right? Uh Chohei. What was what was her name? Uh, Cho Cho. Where, where's the name? Choco. That's the name. So that that right here is probably Choco. A messenger arrived at one of the state says estates. The answer given was a yes. Good. The fact that the head of states, the head, the fact that the heads of the three great families of Han, Kai, and Ryu had personally shown up was better proof than anything else. All right. All right, the three great families, Han, Kai, and Ryo. Do I need to remember? Well, I'm, I'm asking like, I'm asking as if you know, one of you guys is going to reply, but I'm not live. <laughs> Han, Kai, and Ryo. I'll probably come across them in the future again. The Queen Mother has no chance. No, chance that she has some hidden. Yeah, of course she does. Even even he knows that she is like, she has something up his sleeve. I know that. And I don't, I've just met a woman. Damn it. My stupid mouse worked for once. <laughs> I've got to put my way in woods girls so that acts so scary but I'll be in trouble if they catch me sneaking around if they notice me the queen mother who's that is that is that gonna be like Ryu come on <laughs> come on come on come on of course of course Ryu of course Chancellor, just what is going on? You cannot be spotted. You cannot be spotted right now. If they spot you, you're dead. They're going to kill you because you could give away their secret plan and whatnot. Ah, of course. That woman, right? I've just met the woman, right? I I've just met the woman and I knew you couldn't trust her. I mean, A say he's not blind. Like, he might be her son, but he is not blind. Like, he knew straight away she is planning something. Like, he was he was not taking back like, ah, she, maybe she's doing this, maybe she's doing that. No, he was not taking back by that. He knew straight away she is planning something. And there she is, planning something. <laughs> 
Are you really fine with it? There is no going back after this. Chancellor, Vestige of Beauty. Having come all the way to the harem already, I have no second thoughts. More importantly, are you fully prepared for this yourself, Queen Mother? So they clearly have something massively brewing up. By folding the harem faction into the umbrella of my own real fury camp, you will be declaring your own son as your enemy for the whole world to see. I don't think she really cares. I don't think she really cares. Yeah, damn it. I stupid mouse. <laughs> I need to get power myself a new mouse. <sighs> Let's do it the old fashioned way. Even that's not working. Just now, he said the harem is going to join the Chancellor's faction. Our harem faction, I remember you, Chan, saying that we actually held a lot of power and it's going to the Chancellor's side. Why? Aren't we on His Majesty's now? You know, there is no need to worry about anything if it's about. Actually, maybe I could just scroll. No. No. Nothing. Alright. There's no need to worry about anything if it's about Say. The truth is, I met with him a few days ago in the harem. I wanted to do a little test, you see, to see if even a hint of my t maternal instincts had awoken within me. Come on, don't do this to me. Go to the next page. There we go. But sure enough, there is nothing, whether it be that child's existence or his words. Within my chest, I felt not a single thing. There you go. There you go. Whatever happens to say, I couldn't care less. Now I get out of flesh and blood's family. How could you be like that, your highness? And you call yourself a mother. So the entire uproar involving you this time around was for the sole purpose of luring me into the harem. A certain eunuch told me that if we didn't go that far, we wouldn't be able to move that heavy waste of yours. Okay. So, she's got a very good advisor then. Like, she is a very good advisor. Uh, poor, poor things. The King's faction, they really do believe that the harem has joined their side. And are you sure she's not just playing you as well? <laughs> That's the thing. Are you sure she's not playing you as well? Perhaps we should take this chance to crush them once and for all. With that done, you and me, the two former lovers from 17 years past, have shut... Uh, uh, Okay. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. With that done, you and me, the two former lovers from 17 years past, shall have usurped an entire kingdom. What an amusing story that will make. Indeed, that certainly would be quite amusing. Yeah. And then... She she gets everyone, doesn't she? <laughs> like, she's got a lot of power. What the heck is going on here? I can't understand this at all, but I have a bad feeling that something really bad... Yeah, definitely. I have to inform His Majesty of this. There's still... Uh-oh. Uh oh. They, did they just... Ah, oh, they did. They, ah, they just killed her. Ace is not going to like that at all. He is not going to like that at all. There will be blood to pay. So there was a eunuch around. No, it's just I felt a strange present. Can't pull it out. Yeah. I felt a strange presence. I have to tell his majesty about this no matter what. That's very, very... Wow. Well d <laughs> Took me a second to understand what was going on. But well done. So she used like her gloves and whatnot to like, clean the blade as it was being pulled out so there would be no blood on it. So she could essentially run away. And she's not here. I actually disappeared. Nice. Good job. There doesn't seem to be anyone around, but I shall go investigate just to be safe as you like. Uh, good job. 
For Rune, we will be completely alone from this point on, so you may relax. After all, this was specifically constructed by me. A secret room that is completely unknown except by a few specific eunuchs. Since it's my room of play. Since it's my room of play. <laughs> Since it's my room of pleasures, you see. Hey, baby. <laughs> Hello. Now then, Chancellor, this is where the show begins. After all, the harem faction will only come under your wing on the condition that you manage to thoroughly satisfy me tonight, just like in the past. Well, that's a that's a very good condition, eh? That's a very good condition. Look at that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> and there she is, running. I think she's going to get spotted, isn't she? I have to tell the king about the queen mother and the chancellor. It's okay. The wound isn't too deep. I have to tell him. His majesty. His majesty. His majesty. Look at her. Look at her. She's like, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> she is feeling it. She is definitely feeling it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she is definitely. That's going to be the thumbnail, isn't it? <laughs> nah, nah, that would get the video taken out with a heart speed. Real few. So 17 years have caused you to change this much. Look at her. Just like, yeah, boy. Known as the Jewel of Candon, there was no end to the number of noblemen who desired to make her uh, to, uh, who desired to make her their own. With her enchanting visage full of elegance and purity, she was given the moniker of Biki and was beloved by everyone. Means beauty. Interesting. Look at her. There is not even the tiniest mistake. <laughs> there is not even the yeah, of that woman left. Was it all because of me, Beaky? And she snapped. Just one word. And she snapped. Don't call me by that name. 17 years ago, I was in the midst of a blissful par paradise. I was adored by many men, many men, overflowing with wealth and riches alongside my glory as a first class dancer. But most of all, because there was a man named Rufi, my most cherished person in the world, who had promised to spend his life with me till we grew old and grey, I had not the slightest doubt or suspicion that my future would be anything but full of joy and happiness. And then, well, we saw what happened. One day introduced me to a certain prince of a foreign state and said to me, the woman who was your fiancé, from today on, this will be the man you love. Everything was an illusion. Yeah, okay. So she was basically just shipped off ultimately to the king as well, to the prince at that point. I know that at the time you had invested all your wealth into Shisho, King Sho, Issei's father. I know that Shiso had also had promised you the seat of Chancellor on the dawn of him inheriting the throne. He used me as a tool for your rise to greatness. That's right. I won't make any excuses. There is no other man that I hate more than this. And you want to trust this woman, eh? You want to trust this woman. There is no other man that I curse as much as this, but why is it that there is no other man that fills me with lust as much as this? The man who threw my destiny into disarray. Well, that's love and hate. I definitely won't think that. That's the most interesting relationship out there right now. Love and hate. If you lo love and hate somebody, that's most of the time that's very, very interesting, right? I'll, I'll say this right now. I definitely won't forget all that you've done to me. But this time, I'm not letting you go. Now the two of us shall become one. Hey, way back. <laughs> oh, she looks like a vicious. She looks like a vicious beast. She really does. <laughs> and I like. She looks like somebody I wouldn't want to have in bed. To be totally honest, she looks just like free. A little bit too freaky. I don't mind freaks, but that's a little bit too freaky. This time, the two of us will become the husband and wife who stand at the pinnacle of Shin. Beaky. As I thought, this woman getting involved too deeply with her is that yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good that he notices. Good that he notices. Yeah, well, that too too deeply, eh? With her is dangerous. <laughs> she has lost the plot a long time ago. <laughs> like, like that would not be so many. So that's not somebody that's very difficult to control. Very difficult to control, and especially for someone like. Uh, Rio Fuji, who likes who likes having control, she would be too much to handle. But well, she is too important right now for him not to take her side. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes.
chapter 187 co conveys so morning so she wakes up and she sees right in front of her door who was just stabbed coach on the blood trail is there though you're bleeding hi there she's gonna survive right and there you have to the path away from prying eyes yes sir there is no one else that knows of this apart from you needless to say you should keep it that way unless yeah you better even if it was for the sake of acquiring the harem faction for a chancellor such as myself to have an affair with the queen mother inside the male prohibited harem perhaps even for me this is going slightly too far <laughs> perhaps yeah perhaps She's gonna be fine, right? She's like, yeah, cause I don't think she's gonna die. I, she has to tell the queen. Oh, she wouldn't have survived in the first place. Thanks to the treatment of the doctors in the harem, Co managed to avoid bleed in the harem. Oh boy, avoid be bleeding to death. Her high fever showed no signs of receding even on the afternoon of the second day. She remained on the border of death, and the wound had turned a horrif horrifying color. We've already done everything we can, but I fear you won't make. There you go. But I fear you won't make it through tonight. If it's the personal doctors of the Queen Mother or the three ladies, then they might be able to do something. But it's impossible for us to seek help from there. You should prepare yourself, you. Uh, so she's actually going to die. That's no way. Your Majesty, Your Majesty. There's still one place we can... T Ace. My name is not Hakushun. Um, your I I am you. My name is not Hakushun. I am you, Your Majesty. Attending to the king is one of the most important duties of the state. I completely understand that. There is no greater crime than purposely disturbing this. <laughs> that's what. I, that's what. She, <laughs> so that's what she meant. I was like, I was a little bit confused there. Like, my name is not Hakushun. Uh, yeah. Alright, there's no greater crime than purposely disturbing the system. I'll accept any punishment, so please, your majesty, please. Please help Ko-chan. At this rate, Ko-chan is going to die. He, ko has uh, gotten involved with something and was stabbed in the stomach. She's been completely unconscious. I understand that this is an outrageous request, but please, your majesty, save her. Please save her. Ku would speak of you every now and then. You're just as she described, inclined to take actions in unusual ways. He's going to help her, right? Send words to wake up the doctors on the king's order. Nice. Tell them the reason will be explained later. Perfect. Wipe your tease, you. We we go to save Ku. Nice. And she's going to be able to tell him. Unless the person that walks in right now is uh, Shoko, I think the name was. Uh, Shoto. I don't. I forgot the name already. I read it twice now already. Like the personal aid of the Queen Mother. For God's sake, just what is you doing? You. Where on earth have you? The king. Just... The king. With all the doctors, just walking like a bat. Yeah, like yeah, I need a mantle like that. Just something that covers. Just like something that it's like. Oh, it looks like it looks like a bathrobe, honestly. But like, I just need something like that. Just like walking in, like yeah. I am the king. <laughs> like, yeah. I am the you, you, Every time you say I'm the king, you have to do that. Like, yeah, yeah. I am the king. That's how you need to walk in. I need that kind of rope. <laughs> just like, made out of silk. Just that I can walk in and be like, yeah. I am the king. The king and all the doctors. It is said that China's medical practices had already started to take shape even before the Warring States era. And acupuncture needle, which remains used today, had already existed by then. I've never had acupuncture. I always wanted to try it. Have just having needles stuck in your in your body just sounds funny. <laughs> that's, that's why I always wanted to try it. Uh, as, for, as for knowledge of medicinal herbs, it went back even further in history, stemming from Shenong before even the time of the Jia Dynasty. Say's personal doctors were all well versed in their own various expertise. Thanks to these skills, which were at the peak for the time, they were able to bring Ko back from the abyss. Nice. Nice. Your Majesty, while we might have managed to stabilize her, the girl still remains standing on the border between life and death. The biggest priority for her now is to sleep and recuperate. However, even after giving her sleeping medicine, she's willing herself to stay awake, saying that she has nothing she has something to pass on to your majesty no matter what. To be so willful that she would repel the medicine 
please would you consider hearing her out, your majesty. If she does not sleep soon, she may still die. She is a warrior. Your majesty, good work. Huh? What do you have to say for the sake of your body? Try to make it short. I'm very sorry, but there's something I must tell you. The Queen Mother and the Chancellor are hiding something. Now you know it's good stuff that the harem would join up with your camp is a lie. And that's not all. The two of them were also befrothed before your birth. And last night, the Chancellor and Queen Mother were possibly having an affair. Yeah. Uh, good job. Good job. You are such a tiny little soda, but good job. Please forgive me to do something like this, but I thought this that this was so important that you had to know. Forgive me. Forgive me. You have done well, Ko. Your words might very well have saved my life. I, I'm glad that I was of use. I finally I can sleep. I've actually really wanted to sleep. All right. I hope she. I hope she does well. Ah! <laughs> ah! Just I mean, how do you switch from like something like that to now this? Just that look. Just those eyes. Just don't, that shading. Just ah! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Mama and Rufu are having an affair. I I, I love looks like I I I, I love when they when, 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 like especially Ace because Ace when he gets serious he has like that he has this killer look on this look right here so I just love seeing it. <laughs> to choose Rufu out of all men, just what is she planning? The two of them were befrothed, so that strange antics she committed this time were all for the purpose of baiting out a rear view. And the objective of meeting me again was to reaffirm her apathy towards me. No, by this point it's nothing to be a surprise about. Mother, you have been like this since the very start, from the moment I was born up till now. You have never changed. Never changed. Even now, you still remain in darkness. I changed the moment I left Canton. Yeah, exactly. I actually really like this perspective here right now. Now she's still in darkness, whereas he moved on with his life. I have comrades that I can unhesitatingly put my trust in. Exactly. Even I like the fact that even ten is here. I, I to go ten. Yeah, ten has not that much time with uh, with Ace, but he's still here. Even Hecky, bro. Uh, even he is there, you know. By now, your actions and deeds can no longer cause my heart to waver. Rufu, you have just taken a grave misstep. Shogunken, Mr. Shi, Ryukai, Koken, today, gentlemen, I have but one reason for calling you together. Rufu has just committed a grievous mistake. At last, he is revealed an opening. Interesting. What's his plan here? Though it might be early than we planned, the time has come for us to switch to the offensive. We will strike directly at the center of his. Which is money, wealth, his home. What's his mistake? Trusting her, siding with her. Uh, I, I, okay, then we'll see. We'll see. I, I know I'm speaking right now, uh, pretending like there's an audience, you know, that can give me some feedback on some things that I might have missed. But you know what? We'll see. Because uh, I'm pretty sure it, it has to be his money. Oh, uh, not his money, but like his. Reputation? Reputation is always a big downfall. It's all, but the mistake really has to come from now that he knows you know, one of his weaknesses, which is his relationship to the Queen Mother. Back it, or to Beaky, I should say. Backing the Dark Horse. He looks pretty cool there. With like just the, the sword and whatnot, and like the, the royal clothing here and whatnot. And then like just plate armor. Looks pretty cool. Forgive me for speaking bluntly, but in the past few days, there have been rumors claiming that you are having an affair with the... Reputation. Reputation, yeah. What did you say? This is unforgivable slander, and to have chosen the Queen Mother of all people. It's as if they're trying to label the Chancellor as a traitor. This cannot be allowed. That's right, the culprit must pay for this. Uh, about that. Forgive my impertinence, but Chancellor, surely you would not happen to know of anything that may have led to this, would you? And if we finally get to see him, like the fourth pillar, a little bit. And just what are you trying to say, Rishi? Like, now he's in a serious mode. And he need to shut you up right now. Just what are you trying to say, Rishi? Forgive us. It's just that the contents of the room alone were enough to give rise to unease within the faction. Hence, reassurance was needed. 
fine, but more importantly, you need to hurry and quell these rumors. Sir, leave it to me. Unrealistic rumors like these may spread quickly, but on the other hand, they're also easy to stamp out. Moreover, we're already well aware of the rumors' origins. I, I, I don't think that really matters that you're well aware. I think both sides know it's going down soon. <laughs> With Coke and Dono as the centre, the rumours appear to be spreading quite well. As expected of Mr. She's former retainer, this is what they excel at. Was that sarcasm, sire? No, that was praise. Concerning this rumour, is it really the right choice, Your Majesty? It's true that it will, uh, that it will, it will a great disturb, it will cause a great disturbance inside the Refuse camp. But at the same time, it will also harm the name of your. He doesn't, he doesn't give a flying. He doesn't give a flying fuck, right? About his about the queen mother. She doesn't give a flying fuck about him. He doesn't give a flying fuck about her. It's the way it is. No, even before that, by choosing to ally herself with real few, she had already declared you as her enemy. But are you not perhaps pushing yourself a bit too hard, Your Majesty? It would be a lie if I said I wasn't. After all, even if she's like that, she's still my mother. But so what? Right now, we are fighting a war. If you want to conquer all of China, that's the kind of determination. Like, that's the kind of determination you need to have. We must be prepared to see our comrades bleed for the sake of our cause. We must be prepared to suffer wounds in the name of our cause. We must be prepared to do anything it takes, even if it means taking a blade to your own body. We must not hesitate. If you are to fight, then you must win. From the beginning, you were the one who taught me that about warfare, Shobunka. I have already lost too many people. I will cower no longer. When, when he's in king mode, right? When, when he's in this, when he's in his king mode, he is just, uh, he is just amazing. <laughs> he is just amazing in in his king mode. Mister Xi, prepare the next step of our diversion, sire. It's already on the way, but I do not believe we need to hurry ourselves just yet. The opposition probably thinks the rumor will soon disappear. But thanks to that, it will instead gain another surge of tailwinds. So those are the three main houses. Han, Kai, and Ryo. The actual heads of the three great families. What could this mean, Rishi don't know. Ah! <laughs> ah! Rifu is being he is being played Impossible For the Queen Mother's faction to have sided with the enemy of her own son was seen as a completely unnatural move by everyone. What if that rumor was actually true? The real Fury faction were greatly shaken by this development, yeah? As you well, as you all know, the harem faction has chosen to betray us and slipped over to Ryufu's side. Hence, their power has strengthened to such a point that we are no longer able to evenly contest them any longer. To achieve that, Ryufu has committed a most heinous offense. We get boost their morale, basically. Despite his position of chancellor and the highest officials of the state, he has become involved in an immoral affair with the Queen Mother. That, that, he can, they all look triggered. Like that guy looks triggered. He looks triggered. Like he looks especially triggered. But like all of them look just triggered. Never has a transgression of this magnitude occurred in our history. This is clearly the action of a traitor to the state. This crime absolutely cannot be forgiven. And yet yeah, they're all up for it. Since our only witness is but a single palace girl, we cannot prove his crimes. However, Ryufu's faction has, greatly, has been greatly disturbed. A large wedge has been driven into the center of his power like never before. Make no mistake, now is the only chance for victory that we have left. By switching to the offense, there is no doubt that they will also turn their fangs towards us, but we will not cower. Justice lies with us. We will destroy the enemy camp in a single... Good luck! <laughs> Good luck! Ah, <laughs> uh, but they are all hype. Morale is a massive factor in war. Sun Sen's team shall attach themselves to Ryukai and sow discord among the enemy. Tan's team will persuade the fence sitters. Sho's team will rally troops for defense. Be on a lookout for the enemy using brute force. Yes, sir. It seems the moment of. It seems the moment of our head. Uncl uh, unclash came earlier than I expected. There is no going back. We will use this offensive, uh, offensive to strike down a rear few in one breath. Hey, if that's your only chance, this is your best opportunity. 
Ritsubu Densho, Ritsu, Densho, Koshin, and David have made contact with the King's faction. We've also received reports that the previously impartial Mr. Khan, Sho, and So have already joined the King's faction. Yeah, he's doing well. But he's still laughing. He's still happy about it. Like, he still has that smirk on. Ha ha. His Majesty said, that's how it work. You are dismissed. So far, the only men they're attracting are the middleweights. Rather than them, the pressing issue that I need to be concerned about is this. I will need to pen my reply. Stay a while. During this time, the Queen Mother repeatedly sends real few invitations to me. Now, no, at this point, that's impossible. That's the worst possible timing. Would refuse her, writing that they are to wait until the situation had settled. However, you have a guest. Did she just come here now? Bruh! <laughs> Bruh! Bruh! She does not know how to play politics. For men's conveniences. She just came here to get fucked. She can, she does not care about... <laughs> he's not gonna... He's... <laughs> oh. All gambles carry the risk of failure. It is the gambles that ordinary people consider too risky. The ones that could lose you everything. If you fail that arc... If, the ones that could uh, could lose you everything if you fail that are capable of large payouts. He's not he's not wrong with that, but come on, you just gotta fuck it. That's all. I backed the dark horse. At that time, even the people of Shin would never have imagined that Prince Shisho, Zhou's political hostage, would end up ascending the throne. It was all because I invested my entire wealth in him. As everyone laughed mockingly at me, I provided Shisho extravagant housing, clothes, and food. Even my woman was gladly handed over to him. I even paid visits to Shin and spent vast sums bribing figures related to the royal family. And it was... He looks a little bit... like Right now he looks a little bit like Oki. I don't know, just like that facial structure here. And it was all thanks to that gamble that I am here now. Compared to all that, this is child's play. Now that the King's faction can no longer... It's getting really hot right now. Now that the King's Faction can no- I'm not, talk, not, not talking about steam, I'm talking about hot itself. <laughs> now that the King's Faction can no longer turn back, they'll most likely start attacking me with a reckless abandon. So long- with, with reckless abandon. So long as I am to hold down- or as long as I'm holding them down, then at last this kingdom shall belong to me. That's the eyes of a determined man. I, who began as but a mere merchant, shall become the master of a state. I will take the scamble. Hey, helicopter style! Woo! <laughs> I am the man who always wins at gambling. Apparently, you do. In actual fact, there exist numerous historical texts that record the affair between Rufu and the Queen Mother. While the actual details vary from source to source, at any rate, the secret liaison between those two had a great impact on the power struggles between Sei and Ryufu in the Shin court. Elsewhere, a month has already passed in the frontline territories. We get to see my boy Shin. I was wondering if we're going to see him at all in this volume. But we get to see Shin and his squad. Preparations for the Great Way campaign had finished. What a sight. So that's the battle. The way campaign. This doesn't really have anything to King of Plot. It's made to elaborate on the content of this chapter, so feel free to skip it. In a rather preferred Chinese idiom, Yu Hiao Ke Ya. I probably butchered that. <laughs> I probably butchered that very badly. Which can be very loosely translated to to strike while the iron is hot, or basically just to be opportunity. Well, I'm putting the first of the act of falling onto rare items of goods for the purpose of winning and selling at the high price later. What's interesting to note is that the original saying appears to have been coined by Ryu Fu slash Lu Bu Wei, as it is often attributed to his entry in the Shi He text. Alright. You know, when Lu met Sei, Zheng's father, in the Hanlan, he saw the potential within him and came up with the idiom, which was translated in English as, This is rare item that should be saved for later. The idiom only sounds graceful in its original Chinese form. I could think of an English equivalent that was accurate enough to convey the original meaning, and we didn't exactly want to use something like, This is a rare item that should be saved for later. So we ended up just going with the back in a dark horse. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, though. Thank you to the translators. I always love little things like these. 
I know a lot of people don't really care about like special stuff like that, but I do. I I, I do. Avengers assemble. Ah, hey, we got uh, Mogo. Fifth year of King Say's reign. Shin levies a humongous army of 250,000 aiming to push into the Sanju region of Wei. Shin planned to subjugate the entire area and turn it into a county. And the man who was appointed commander-in-chief of this campaign was Shin's Hakuro, Great General Mogo. <laughs> You'll injure yourself if you're over eager. There you go. The man that, if he has more numbers, will win. Actually, now that I think about it, right? I mean, Shin is like his independent factor at this point, but like his he Shin unit, right? They uh, more so Shin himself. He worked on uh, Duke Xiao. He was on uh, uh, Oki, and now he's on uh, Mogo too. Three different generals, three different styles. It's not Duke Yao. Mogo planned to follow his usual pattern together with his two vice generals. He would split the Shin force into three armies and invade away with all three maintaining the same pace. Yeah. The, most... the Hishi unit was stationed to the front of the general Mogo's... Per ah! Nice! Nice! Very nice! I've been hearing about it since I was a kid. He clearly understands the Hishi unit's true strength. I, I bet you're going to find like the Oki... And the uh, Mo Ten uh, unit here as well. It seems all the effort, yeah, the, the uh, Oki, uh, the Oki main family. Uh, it seems that all effort. What was the name again? O O O, o something. Anyway, it seems all. I, I'm getting sidetracked. I know. It seems that all the effort we spent getting accomplishment was worth it. Yeah, cavalry coming through. Make way. That's obviously the Oki. Yeah. Oh ho! That's his name. Oh, you bastard. So yeah, we've got Oho right here just riding in through a horse. Just like, yeah, baby. I'm the, I'm the greatest. Look! And I'm so happy just, cause, just because they're posted within the main army. They really are a bunch of naive buffoons, aren't they, Han Summer? Well, I suppose there's plenty to be proud of for peasant foot sluggers like them. Ah, he said, you know, I have one piece, here we go, I have one piece of advice for you. The war that is about to begin is on a completely different scale from the tiny skirmishes we've been competing in, bigger than even the Zhao War from last year. It is a genuine great war. Ants that bite off more than they can chew in this campaign will be completely slaughtered. You are best be careful. Then I'll give you a warning too for your trouble, Ohan. My He Shin unit will be the ones to score the biggest accomplishment on this campaign. Yeah, best prepare yourself now for when I get promoted above you because I'm going to friggin' work your ass off like the end you are. The man is going to become a great general of the heavens is me. Just straight up. The guy has no chair. Like, you don't care who you are. Forget this thing. Let's get it. Forget, forget you, bro. Forget you, bro. Forget you, bro. Really. They're all there for you. They're all there for you. I finally managed to sort out a few things inside my head. I'll end it on this campaign for now. I'll end it... Okay. Interesting. So does that mean she's like leaving after this campaign? I hope not. I like you, guy. I hope that she isn't leaving after this campaign. So this is the Koro. As his army approached the first city of Koro, General Mogo began reorganizing his troops. Due to the possibility of this becoming a siege, the troops were divided into four armies, one to attack each of the city's four walls. These armies were in turn accompanied by another four reserve okay, so as his army as his army approached the first city of Koro, General Mogo began reorganizing his troops. Okay. So we've got the reserve army, reserve army, east, west, south army, and north army. Alright. One, two, three, four, and then you've got those four. Alright. The reserves 
as served as reinforcements that could adapt to the changing battlefield and be counted on to perform the most crucial of tasks. Just as the Heishan unit desired, they were able to secure themselves a position near the front of the reserve army. However, Ohon's Gyokai Ho unit was able to claim the position even further <laughs> ahead of them, the very first seat. This indicated that the Gyokai Ho unit was considered to be the most promising unit in the entire reserve army. Obviously. Uh, this is the narrator. This is the narrator speaking, right? Well, how are you saying obviously? <laughs> you talk to the narrator, you shouldn't be able to hear the narrator. So there's those ass souls ending up ahead of us after all. And they're all mounted soldiers too. No way we'll catch up if they get to start before us too. Seems like everyone's heated up here again. And there you have yeah, you have uh Moten. You guys should relax and take it easy. There's still a long ways to go up. So all these different units. Oh, who the hell is this? My bad. I haven't even introduced myself and I'm talking down to you. I may look like this, but I'm the captain of a 300-man unit. The Gakuka unit, to be precise. Perhaps you've heard of it. Gakuka unit. Lieutenant N. I wasn't the Gakuka unit that year. I had heard that there was a 300-man unit that was credited with every single accomplishment on the battlefront to the south of us, the Gakuka unit. There was a rumor that the leader of the Gakuka unit was a thousand-man commander. Could it actually... Was a thousand man commander, but that's a, was a 300 man unit. He's young enough to be around the same age as Shin, and he's a thousand man commander. Who the hell? <laughs> oh, I could say, yeah. Never heard of it. Who the hell are you? What's with that get up? <laughs> Moten Sama. What are you doing all the way out there? Uh, no. Uh, Gramps. Yeah. It's, it's like this is. No, it's like this is that Heishin unit we've been hearing about, you know, Moten. So yeah, seeing as how we uh, not only follow 300 man units, but also stationed in the same position in the reserve army together. As an officer, I figured we should get to know each other. Makes sense. No, uh, nice. I, I don't know what's going on here, but nice. Not quite. We've been assigned to the utmost rear of the reserve column. Nowhere close to being in the same position. The, the rear. Okay. What the heck is with this funeral man commander? He's completely different from the rumors. Come on, give me a break. The name's Moten. Nice to meet you. Let me guess his grip is just that strong. Well, I'm off. Good day to you, everyone. Hold it. Just who the hell are you? A Moten of the Gakuka unit. Actually... I guess there's an easy way from truthing myself to I am the same as you and Ohon. A man aiming to be a great general of the heavens. Nice. Bruno, I know you're not probably, I don't know whether you're going to watch this or not, but anyway, thank you for subscribing. I just saw that as well. A man aiming to be a great general of the heavens. It's another rival. Too many rivals. We've got three, he's got two rivals now. Two main rivals uh, in Ohon and Moten. What was that? Saying the same stuff as Shin. Is that really the captain of the Gakuka unit? He's gonna be okay. Yeah. I like this. I, I like the fact that he's gonna have like rivals who are, I guess, superior to him. Like, o Owen is definitely superior to him. Moten, yeah, he's a thousand man commander. Uh, so, uh, he's got, he's got a 300 man squad. So, like, he is also superior to him. That man is considerably skilled. Moten, I remember him just in case. Why is you why are you crying, bro? For Moten Sama to aim to be a great general of the heavens, I am overjoyed. No no, that was just a joke. I thought it would be more interesting. <laughs> great. <laughs> He's just trolling. I thought it would it'd be more interesting to match him. I'd actually rather become an official. This guy. <laughs> Who knows? If it was by mere coincidence or actually the intent of superior officers. But all three 300 man units would end up stationed together in the very same Eastern Reserve Army. Alright, that's a massive army. The Gyokoho unit, Ohan. The Heishin unit, Shin. And then the Gakuka unit, Moten. You know what I just realized, right? Actually, I can't even say that, never mind. Because I was going to say, like, this unit was pretty much picked... By Oki, in a way. This unit, you know, he's got relationships to the Mo family 
but then again, O Oki, yeah, you could say that both of them are Oki essentially, and he is just Moten. I, I I felt like you could have like one for each, but no, that's not the case. Uh, or you could say this one was picked. This one was picked by Ace himself. This one was picked by. Oh, uh, this one has ties to Oki, and this one has ties to the Mo family. Though all three were young, their accomplishments were many. Look, it's the Gyokyo, which is the Gyokyo Ho, Gaku Ha. All right. As soon as these three units would become the center of attention in the Eastern Army. Naturally, however, none of them held any interest in that. The only thing those three wanted now was to achieve great things, and at last, the Mogul main army of 80,000 men finally arrived at and finished surrounding the first city, Koro. Alright. Alright. But yeah, as like I said, I really like the fact that now now we, now it's a siege battle. I really like the fact that, like he's got like yeah like yeah, there are three of them, like two peers that are on the same level slash higher than him. I'm not sure about Moulton yet. I think Moulton is definitely higher too. Uh, so, so both of them higher than Shin, which is very impressive. We saw what Owen did. Oh, and just obliterated shit. <laughs> he really just obliterated shit. Anyway, 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 anyway. Final chapter for today. Should I end it here so that next time we can just do the full siege? Nah, let's do let's do this now. So again, a siege. I I I, I would never be one of those people. I would hate to be one of those people having to climb up uh, you know, a ladder and whatnot. Just, that, that would suck so bad. <laughs> Report! The Eastern Wall has almost completely fallen. The Eastern Wall has almost fallen. Needs one more push, but we've run out of men. Send the reserve troops immediately. Hell yeah. It's about time we got to a turn. He should need it. Let's do this. Yeah, alright. Yeah. What the hell is this? That's what a city wall looks like in a real battle. Yeah? I would, I would, always, I would hate to be somebody having to, like, overcome a wall like that it's only after you're below it that you realize how intense it is exactly it's all the people falling then you see people climbing while spears while arrows while, while rocks are being thrown down i would hate to be like just one of those people climbing up <laughs> straight up more importantly how and where the hell are you even meant to attack something and you can, it's not like shin can jump over it like he usually does where he just jumps over something how and where the hell are you even meant to attack something like that? General, it's almost about time. Those stupid Shin have completely taken the bait. Fire, and there you go. A volley of arrows. Just a, vo a massive volley of arrows. Just attacking all the men behind. Yep, it was a trap. I knew it. Yep, it was a trap. So they them took the cloth on straight away. He's like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> His first taste of like a wall city. Everyone get down. Some guys obviously can defend themselves. Others, no, you don't, have, you don't have the look and privilege. Three days have passed since the start of this war. Though the Shin army of 80,000 has continued to surround and siege the enemy city, why are there so many arrows? There was an army of archers hiding behind the wall. Fire, just fire. Arrows are just such an effective weapon in war. Arrows and spears, just such effective weapons. But faced with the combination of sturdy fortification and skillful defense techniques, the Shin armies were having a difficulty making progress. Absolutely, I'm dying, bro. Fall back for now. What idiot. So that's the way I'm Eastern War Command, General Fuhaku. Unlike the timid lord of Koro City, every single one of the four generals posted to, the, to man the city walls were famous generals in their own right. All of them skilled at siege defense. Okay. Okay. So that's the one of the Eastern Wall. General Fuhaku. Mogul's headquarters. Every deputy's son appears to have been wounded by an arrow. Send word to our four armies commanders. Tell them not to forget about mingling and checking in on the units that have taken losses later. Just, uh, are you going to say that? No actual strategy, no nothing, just... Okay. Not sure. Not sure what his angle here is. 
If you have four people that are skilled in siege defense, how do you breach that? Yeah, they, they, they had, back then they had a ram, so you could just try and like break the wall down. I don't know. I'm not certain, really. <laughs> how do you break it down? I don't know. Or build a massive, build massive like buildings and whatnot, like outside, and like push them in on wheels or whatnot, so you then can climb up and then attack that way. I'm not really certain. Stupid wall. How the hell are we in for me? That's, that, that's what a siege is all about. You're meant to fight something like that. The moment you get anywhere close to it, you turn into a pin cushion. Though that, that saved us last time since we were right under the wall. That rain of arrows was insane. Shin, no, no. We might not have lost any men, but close to 20 have been put out due to out of action due to injuries. When it, without even having to fight, that's the thing. When it comes to the uh, to city size, this one's below an average, isn't it? Indeed. I was so overwhelmed by that wall that I couldn't even move me to captain. Have there been any hints of a battle plan out from someone from the top brass? I don't believe it's possible to take this city with ladders alone. They just provide too much of an advantage to defenders. Nothing. But I actually come here without a trick up his sleeve. But if something doesn't happen soon, then at this rate, we're just going to... General Hakuro isn't the type to come up with clever surprise tactics, you know. Yeah. Morten, you should know, it's your grandfather. The famous sieger of cities, Hakuro, only ever uses conventional methods in his battles. There are no clever schemes involved, exactly. Just basically the ordinary things, the usual things. He will patiently surround a city and pressure it with attacks, whistling down the enemy's moral until an opening appears which he can strike at. That's all there is to it. Uh, well, the longer this battle drags on for, the more men we'll lose and the more supplies we're going to eat through. Isn't the whole purpose of us special units to be coming up with some unconventional plan at times like this? Perhaps, yeah, but what are you going to do? But the reality is there is no... Exactly, what are you going to do? There's nothing you can really do about that city wall with just a 300 man unit and ultimately we have little choice but to rely on a long term siege as long as the city gates remain shut there is nothing for his reserves to do it was just as Moten said even 10 days later the situation <laughs> yeah yeah I, if I, yeah if I was in a siege right if I was in a siege battle like one of those people like trying to even one of those people trying to climb up here right just like yeah please let me up here or just one of those people I, I I would hate to be that, right? Just having a walled city. That would suck so badly. Faced with this, General Mogo simply and calmly announced to the Shin army that the plan was to continue the siege for an entire month. They're going to run out of food and whatnot sooner or later. But it was clear that Shin soldiers did not possess the same patience and the morale began to drop. On the other hand, having repelled the Shin army day after day, the way morale remained strong. But in the midst of this dejected Shin army, Han Sama, what's he coming up with? That has finally arrived. Is that so? What, what's that? 11th day of the siege. What's this? It's the Gyuko Ho unit. Ohan is headed to the front for the first time. What's that? I, I can't say anything here that. You know, I don't know. Even if you're closing on the walls with hosts, you're not going to be able to do anything. What's that? Leaf? Leaves? Hay? Wood. What the hell? I, so it's got wood. B building like planks and whatnot just to stack up or something. There's so many. Withdraw. Fire! Ah. That certainly works. That certainly works. Fire. That's not a point. Exactly. Exactly. You need a lot of wood and a lot of fire to do to have something like that. He, he, he just excels, doesn't he? He just excels. That fire and smoke isn't going to affect only us. Behind the smoke, we're going. Don't wait. Don't go. It's impossible to climb those ladders in the middle of that fire and smoke. You'll just get burned to a crisp and suffocate to death if you try. But isn't that what Owen is trying to do? What a huge. What is, what is it now? 
That's that's exactly what I was saying. You build something like that. You build that's exactly what I was saying. You build a structure somewhere else, and then you you bring it in here so that you can just jump on. Like you don't have to climb up the ladder while you're being shot. You're already up somewhere, and all you have to do is literally just like go there. That's ex this is this right here is exactly what I was talking about. Just I. It, I got this from uh, Vikings, okay? <laughs> That's where my idea came from. So what the hell is that? So yeah, that, exactly. And you can they, they can just go right there. Gyo ko yo ko ho unit. Let's move. And here they go. He yeah, he's gonna get the most praise out of all of them. Straight up. Good job. Uh, good job. He's not just strong, but he's also very very smart. Using fire to create a smoke screen, and now this. Very, very smart. Like, it was very, very smart. It was very, very effective, very, very resourceful, and honestly, just worthy of the name O. <laughs> Ohan. Worthy of having the O in his name. Just honestly, just very, very good stuff from him. Um, but yeah, I guess next time we're gonna jump right into i guess this right now uh, the siege actually uh occurring you know the siege actually happening so that's very very good um the first half of this volume actually well the first half of the i should i guess i should say the first quarter of this volume uh was all about obviously Ace and his queen mother and ryufu and it seems like Ace now is planning his thing he's planning his uh, his He's planning on overtaking Ryufu, which obviously was always going to be the big the big issue and a big problem. So it's nice seeing that. And uh, then obviously the second half, well, the, the latter quarter of the first half, uh, we had this part here with the siege. I don't know. I don't know which part I like more. I like the siege a lot because it's... It, it, it requires thinking. It requires seeing all these new characters and whatnot. But I also like the political aspect. I like both aspects so much. So I've, that's probably why I really like this show. Uh, well, not show, but this manga so much. Because it has the political aspect while also having the warfare aspect. So I like having both aspects of the show present, ultimately, in just one volume. Uh, but I, I don't know when the next one will be. I think it should be in like a week or so. Uh, maybe a week from today or so. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, and then we'll see exactly how the siege will fare. Uh, I will see you guys then, ladies and gentlemen. Until then, everyone, I need, I, I don't know if you can actually tell or not, but I'm sweating, and I need the fan right now. So I will see you guys then. Until then, everyone, peace out, and have a nice day.